Hey girls, it's Morgan again. So if you remember my last video on um, Fidelity Investments, this is another part of that curriculum, which is called Investing in Others. And if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, it's very important for you to work alongside of other local businesses and other entrepreneurs. Um, one thing that kind of stuck out to me is this quote by Priscilla Chan. And it says, philanthropy is a fancy way to say that you care about others and that you want to serve others. So, you know, it's kind of just like the saying that your mom always told you, like, be nice to others and help others. So that's very important when you are starting off in your own business. There is more than likely somebody who has been in your shoes and someone who um, is willing to help you and they know what you're going through. It's very difficult to start off your own business um, from the ground up. So there's usually people that are willing to help you and share their experiences. And really through this whole entire lesson, I just think of influencers on social media, like those people that you follow um, that have the discount codes. Like I've already mentioned this in the last video, but that's really um, just something that I think about when you think about investing in others, because they will have kind of, they will have giveaways, um, to like local boutiques or they will collaborate. That's a really good word to remember is collaborate. They will collaborate with other influencers, um, to have giveaways and that will promote the other influencers for you to follow them and for you to, um, invest in them. So one thing um, to think about, there are three steps in investing in others. And one of those is save to help others. So that can either be like a way that you save some money to help others. Um, I think about like nonprofit charities, like Girl Scouts is a nonprofit. But um, there are like animal shelters who need donations and um, there are homeless shelters and stuff like that. So that is one thing. And then it's very important to create a plan. So if you're going to save for others, you need to still make sure that you have enough money and time for your own business um, so that, you know, you don't get behind on yourself. And then sometimes, it's really important to keep this in mind, sometimes time is more valuable than money. And um, that's a really big concept to apply to anything in your life, that sometimes time is more valuable than money. Because, you know, you can go to places like an animal shelter or a homeless shelter or anything, and you can volunteer your time. And just like I said from the very beginning, these people who are considered to have seniority over you, who would be starting, um, who have already started their business a long time ago and have been their experiences, it's going to help you a lot for them to save their time so that they can talk to you and share their experiences with you. And then later on down the road, it's important for you to be the one who saves your time so that you can talk to people who are trying to start their businesses. Um, and give them some advice. And then the second step is to learn how the government helps others. And this is something that we kind of hit on in the last video. Um, again, it's just important to like research your local government and see how that they can help fund your local business. Um, so again, just like the Kentucky Proud pr products that we talked about and... Um, like the free lunch programs. Um, there's a small business administration and the federal government. Um, there are such things as Pell Grants that go to college kids that you'll learn about later on if you're not in college. Um, there are after school programs that are provided by the government. And let's see. And then the federal government also also gives money to state programs. Um, and then the third one is to advocate for others' future. So, again, just like the example of influencers, you want to support people that are 
on the same level as you, below you, above you, whatever. You want to support everyone because, you know, you think about you being in their shoes. They want your support just as much as you want their support. And you want to use your audience to promote other people. So if you're at some kind of event, like a fair or um, a promotional event, then you maybe could take your product and tie it in with someone else's product. One of your like entrepreneur friends, you could tie that into their product. Um, and there's two of my friends actually that are like influencers on Instagram and Facebook. And they will kind of like piggyback off of each other. Like one of them does a makeup tutorial and she'll say, you know, like this is my glam look. If you want something a little more simple, then go check out my friend's blog. Um, or they'll do stuff like they collaborate together and they go to events together. And it's just really important to see other people supporting each other. Like that's a great thing. Um, and then one thing is just really... What you can do to help everyone and yourself is to share your story, to get yourself out there, and to share other people's story. And then you always want to encourage people, either verbally or non-verbally. Um, you can host like a party or a presentation, like I said, and invite like other um, influencers, entrepreneurs, whatever, and advocate for them as well. But the most important thing is to support each other and to seek out support for yourself and to always, you know, share your story, experiences, and advice. And that is the most important thing in investing in others when you're trying to be an entrepreneur. I hope that helps some of you all and I can't wait to see who becomes their own entrepreneur and all the other great things that you all are going to do. Have a good day.